Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with my next recap video. And pretty busy today, but I wanted to make sure I get another video out and keep the uh, daily upload streak going. So, uh, like I said, I have that Q&A video. I'm starting to work on that, get some questions together for it. But I still have some more room, so part of the, the benefit of me being a small channel is a lot, I can take a lot of questions. Uh, so be sure to drop another question if you haven't already in the comments below. And it's still not too late to get that in the Q&A video, which should be coming out later this week. Um, as far as this war, kind of a two-star clan. You can see most of our nines uh, were two-starred and a few three-stars at the bottom. And then we had a good war. Everything except that top Town Hall 10 was three-starred. Uh, so good job to the people at Genesis bouncing back from a tough arranged matchup. We're going to start with Pendragon at number one, or our number one taking on their number two. And I'm only going to show a few attacks just because I'm a little bit busy uh, and uh, was thinking about not even doing a video, but have to, you know, at least get one video out today for you guys. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit shorter than usual, though. So basically, Pendragon comes in with two hogs just to get the CC lure, um, drops a the queen with some uh, with some healers on her, and the level 40 queen's not going to take very long at all to take out that lava hound. It'll go down in just a moment, and then she'll take out the lava pups. So the lava hound busts, drops that poison. Uh, it helps take out some of the pups that are attacking the healers, and the queen takes out the rest right here. Then she's going to step her way up. He's going to wall breaker her in wall breaker her in to the first compartment there and let her get access to some of those defenses and most importantly get that air defense taken out and continue to walk around the left side of the base so as soon as that storage goes down she comes back in now she's going to take quite a bit of damage here so he goes ahead and drops a rage which will help her stay up even though there's about four or five point defense on her at one time uh, she's going to go ahead and take out the king too because he gets in range i believe uh, right there he's going to step up uh, but she'll take out the king and then she'll make her way around and get to that next air defense towards the bottom here. So the queen gets a little bit low, has to go ahead and pop the ability. No big deal though, um, gets a few buildings with it as well. And she'll continue her walk around the base. Um, just taking out all these uh, trash buildings along with some of the uh, archer towers and stuff. Now right here she does target a wall, um, but no big deal. She's going to take a little bit more damage because of, the, because of this, uh, but has the rage. Uh, almost drops it too late, but gets it down in time. And even though she's taking quite a bit of damage, uh, the level 40 queen with uh, five raged healers is able to stay up, even with the enemy queen and all that point defense on her. So she gets the job done, takes out the next air defense. Uh, the king comes in here, not really a whole lot of purpose to him, just to clear out some trash buildings, help funnel the balloons into that next air defense. Uh, so in he goes, queen still up doing uh, some work on those expos. Drops a nice freeze there, it's going to take out the... Uh, air defense, the uh, Inferno, and a Tesla, so it's a good value for that freeze. Then the balloons making their way through under haste, they go right into a rage, and they'll get on that, uh, or actually they kind of bypass the Inferno Tower, but the Queen takes it out, so no big deal there. Has the next freeze, uh, same situation there, getting the Inferno and the air defense, and then has, uh, I think, about two Lava Hounds still up. The single Inferno does do quite a bit of work on his Hounds, uh, but the pups help tank for the single Inferno, and the air defense goes down, so now all that's left is just those three defenses in the core and has just enough balloons to get the job done. Uh, you can see the last few ones kind of making their way over, and the queen's on the inferno anyway, so uh, she takes it down. King's still at full health, has a bunch of lava pups, we'll fast forward. It's a three-star, nice job to Pendragon. All right, we're going to take a look at number, I believe it's nine, if I got it right. I, yeah, I believe it's nine. Yes. Yeah, this is right. So uh, we're looking at Yeyer taking out number nine and doing it with uh, some quakes uh, in a goho. Uh, so you can see he has the 30-30 heroes. Obviously, that makes it uh, more of an option to bring more golems because you're going to get more out of your heroes the longer they stay up because they do more damage, etc. So uh, just coming in here with some quake spells, giving his troops access to basically all the spots for giant bombs. This base doesn't really have any good double giant bomb spots, uh, but there are some openings in that area. So we're going to get in there and clear out that space, and then this has a runway for his hogs created on the left side of the base, where they can basically make their way through without any real threat of uh, being taken out. Uh, not even much or many places for single bombs, uh, much less double giant bombs. So anyway, 
coming in here with a few golems, uh, golem in the CC, so a three golem attack. Uh, everything's going to reroute back on into the core there. Has the king making its way in. Uh, almost a little bit early on the king, but the CC troops are just a lava hound, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, the queen standing back, taking out the expo. She'll step up in just a moment. The wizards are already starting on the hound. And you can see everything's just making its way through the space. Uh, the enemy queen's already down. They'll take out the king in just a moment. And these wizards uh, are going to get on that uh, lava hound with the help of the queen, and they'll take that out as well. Um, you can see that I think they triggered a giant bomb or two in there, drops the rage down to help them to get some more damage and uh, start to take out some of these defenses. Here come the hogs, uh, drops a, most of his hogs right there, saves nine more hogs just to kind of surgically deploy around the base, target some of that point defense on the outside, and then has a nice heal there where all the hogs converge on that little group of defenses. Uh, so they're just going to make their way through the base and hasn't lost barely any hogs yet. Uh, hasn't really hit any sp uh, spring traps either, so very nice there. And then has one more heal, which he's going to be nice and patient on, and drop uh, towards the end of the base as these hogs encounter those last few Teslas. Uh, but still has a bunch of golems up, still has uh, wizards making their way around the outside, and the queen at full health with her ability, so just crushed the space, and that golem's even doing some tanking for the last few point defense. And the hogs will take those out. It'll be a three-star. We'll fast-forward. Um, because this one is over. Awesome attack to Yeyer, getting the three star on number nine. All right, one more we're going to take a look at, a Town Hall 8 attack. Um, number 29, I believe. Yep, a noob taking out 29. And uh, this base you guys probably see um, somewhat often uh, with those three air defenses in the core and uh, lots, of, lots of spots for Teslas and bombs and stuff in there. Uh, but all the, the rest of the base is pretty compact besides the the core right there. So just does a uh, hog for the CC level we'll fast forward because nothing exciting here. Just dropping down the poisons, taking out the dragon, and then coming in with a golem up top. Witches in the CC, which is always fun to see. I love seeing witches at Town Hall 8. Uh, those level 3 witches are very effective on these type of bases. Comes in with the king. Um, wizards create the funnel, obviously. Everything's going to make its way on in. Just taking out potential giant bomb spots. Gets a bunch of single bombs right there, which is you know, a nice bonus. Drops the rage down, just basically gonna let his troops uh, go through the wall right here. The king kind of does go off to the side along with the golems. So they don't enter the core, unfortunately, but that one hog right there, uh, making its way through, testing for bombs, drops a heal, just being nice and patient. You can see that one bomb does go off, but the hogs are just inside the heal, and they do uh, trot over a second bomb as well. But like I said, I've said this a number of times on my channel, not putting all his eggs in one basket was very... Uh, delicate on the hog deployment so has a group of hogs that were never even near those giant bombs uh, so they are pretty much at full health has another heal for them and they're gonna make the way uh, to the Tesla to get it taken out and then uh, they split up here and take out the last few defenses uh, so even though he hit uh, kind of a weird double giant bomb spot one at a time but it still took out his hogs even though he did hit that uh, his hogs are still gonna be uh, safe because a number of them were not in the area so Awesome attack to Anub. Hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Uh, short video, I know, but more stuff coming out later this week. And like I said, drop some questions. See you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectrano.